Fiori is a new user experience for SAP and its applications. Simply, but it provides the user with regularly used applications for business processes. One of the big advantages of Fiori is that you can use it on multiple platforms. Indeed, you could very well start planning work on a PC and then continue it on a mobile or a tablet. When you link to S for Ana, it shows all its power and its reactivity of execution. SAP Fury was born from the fact that most users were using SAP for simple actions like validations and so on. So it was decided to implement Fury based on the following characteristics. First, based on predefined roles with fields that are only important for the user. It is also responsive, simple and has fewer screens and fewer steps than the SAP GUI itself. Hi there and welcome on this SAP Fury Tutorials. We will on this video see and discover together the SAP Fury version. So first we will see how to access to it and how to connect to SAP Fury. We will discover also together the user interface which is quite modern compared to the SAP GUI. And then we will execute few first steps within the Fury application. But first, let's access to the Fury web page. In order to do it, then you will have the choice either you already have the URL and you can just go on this web page directly or you can access the Fury application directly from the SAP GUI version. So here in my favorites I have already the T code UI2FLP which is the SAP Fury Launchpad. Otherwise you will have to enter in the transaction OK code directly the transaction and UI2 and FLP and then you can just press enter and you can see that the system is starting the SAP Fury Launchpad application. You will get this web page afterward. On this web page which is based on your web browser, in my case here this is Safari, you will have to enter your credentials. First here you will have to enter your username and then here on the second field the password. You can also select the language for your SAP Fury connection. Once configured you can just click on the log on button to access the SAP Fury Launchpad application. And welcome in the SAP Fury homepage. And as introduced before in this video, the particularity of the SAP Fury application is that it is based on applications. So here you can see this is an application, this is an over application, this is an over application and so on. All the blank square here are SAP Fury applications. These applications might be transactional apps in order to execute a particular business process. They can be also analytics apps in order to give you some reporting or KPIs. Or they can also be fact sheets in order to recap the most important information regarding a particular object. The SAP Fury application is also powerful due to its possibility of user personalization. So we will now let's focus on the personalization of my user in the Fury application. So here on the top right corner you have an icon on which you can click to configure 
your user interface. So here on the top, this is my Fury username and you have first two activities or two applications here, recent activities and frequently used. So if you click on the first one, firstly, here in recent activities, you will find all the activities you search for or all the application you search for and here also the date. So I used or I searched for the application maintain bill of materials 10 days ago. And here on the second tab, this is the frequently used activity or application. So for example here, the first application migration project, I use it frequently. So you can directly and access quickly to the recent and frequently activities and or applications. Moreover, as presented and explained before in this video, SAP Fury is based on applications. Sometimes it could be difficult to find for a specific application you would like to execute. To do that and to solve this problem, SAP set up the App Finder application. With this one, you could search for a certain application directly from the library of the applications in Fury. For example, if you would like to access the application for create a document, then here in the search catalog, you will enter create document and press enter. And you can see here the application for creating a document. If you click on it, then you will directly access the view for creating a document on which you can enter here the document number, the document type, the document part, the document version, and so on. The second possibility is to enter here directly the transaction code. So if you already know the transaction code you used in the Fury, um, in the SAP GUI uh, application, then you can also enter it here. So to create a document in SAP, you use the transaction code CV01N. So if you set here CV01N and you press enter, then the create document application in Fury should also appear in the screen. So let's press enter and you can see here the application create document. And if you click on it, then you will directly access as before in the view for creating a document. So this is the app finder present in the Fiori launch page. If you would like to go back in the home page, then you have to click on the ASAP logo here on the top left corner. So I will click on it and then you see I am directly redirected to the home page. Let's go now in the settings of my personal Fiori user. So I will go here in the user management part and I will select now settings. So here you will find different settings or possible configurations for your specific user. The first one is the user account information on which you will find your name, the email address and the server. Then you can access the appearance of your Fury application. You could change it to set it as blue, as black, with or without contrast, and so on. Here you can also um, optimize for touch input with the display settings and increase the size and spacing of controls to allow you to interact with them more using your finger tree. Then you can configure the language and region settings. So here first you can select the language you would like to use by default in the Fury Launchpad. You can see here the date format and here the time format you choose. Then here in user activities, by checking this box, you will be able to use the uh, two application um, presented before in this video, the recent activities and the frequently used activities. So it will track your user. If you uncheck this box, then your user will not be 
track anymore and you won't be able to use these both activities. And the final part which is quite interesting here is the default values part. So with this uh, configuration you will be able to set up default values so for example here the cost center if you enter a default cost center value once you will access a theory view where you will be able to insert this specific field then it will appear and it will be set up automatically it's like the id parameter or and default values in the sap GUI. The Fury Launchpad homepage is also fully customizable. So you could change it and personalize it according to your business needs. To do that, you will have to go in the user management part again and this time click on edit homepage. So here you will find all the area by domain here, enterprise search, output control, and so on. And by area, you will be able to remove, change, and or add new application. For example, here I have my specific area, which is my home, on which I have already one application. I can here add a new one, for example. If I usually create purchase order, then I will add the application to create a purchase order. So let's search for it, create, order for example press enter so this is the purchasing purchase order processing application to create it so i will have to click this pin in order to add it to the group my home so i will click on it and then it is um, assigned to my home uh, area so let's go back here let's go back one more time you can see that now in my home area, I have the first application already present create document and the new one, which is the one for creating a purchase order. Then let's close this view. And now you can see in the home page here in the my home area, I have the create document application and also now a new one, create purchase order. If I click on it, then the application will be executed and I will be able to create a purchase order here. In this configuration, you will see all the domain uh, one after one. So this is the change management and coordination domain. Then you have my home, which is the second one. Then you have the extensibility for responsibility management, which is the third one, enterprise search, enterprise search and so on. If you directly would like to access one specific, then you will just click on it and you will be redirected. So substances here, all the application assigned to this substances area. With this configuration, you will have all the domain in the same screen, but you can configure it in order to have only one at a time. To do that, you will have to go in the user management part, in the settings, and here you will have to go in home page and home page display. Here, the first radio button, you will see all the content at a time, or you can already or just show one group at a time. So by clicking on this radio button, I will only see for one screen the domain I choose. So here, let's save it like that. You can see that here on the page, I only have the application assigned to this domain, change management and coordination. I will now select my home on which I could normally uh, have and see two applications, the create document one and the create purchase order one. So let's click on it. You see, I have here two applications. So it's really simply now to use and it's more clear and user friendly for the user.